Hello. Welcome to another App Store optimization session with Incipia. Today's topic is going to be one tactic for keyword optimization for your Android app in the Google Play Store. So before we get started, uh, there's a few things that uh, I want to mention. The first is that this is just one tactic in keyword optimization as a whole, which is one half of App Store optimization and the other half is conversion rate optimization. That is improving the conversion rate of users who see your listing when they're doing a keyword search or, or browsing category ranks or what have you uh, through icon optimization, your title, uh, your screenshots, your feature graphic, your reviews, uh, your short description, everything, um, including your descriptions which in title which are used for keyword optimization. So sometimes there can be a bit of a, a give and take between keyword optimization and conversion rate optimization, but the main point in this first point that I want to um, convey is that this tactic today will help you in your keyword optimization, but it's not going to be sufficient in order to, to get you success. So do this, do conversion rate optimization and the whole process of ASO, and that will be your, your best chances of getting organic success. Another thing is that Google's algorithms are very complex, and so while this tactic has worked for several of our clients, or rather all of our clients, um, to varying degrees, it will, for you, rank, uh, perform to varying degrees as well. Sometimes, for some apps, it works very well. For other apps, it works um, not as well. Or for some keywords, it works well. and other keywords, it doesn't. Uh, Google's algorithm, algorithm, again, is complex. It's more complex than Apple's algorithm, and it resists manipulation, and so Again, uh, this is one tactic in your uh, tool set to try and improve your performance. Um, and if this tactic doesn't work for your app or for some keywords, try different keywords um, and just keep keep at it, keep plugging away and being persistent in your app, to, app store optimization and learning and trying to identify what works for your app. So, um, yeah, without further ado then, let's get started with uh, demonstrating this tactic. So this tactic is going to be keyword injection into your description, which is one of the places that uh, keywords will rank for in Google Play searches. Your title is also a spot for keywords to rank and your short description as well. Uh, there are nuances about keywords found in your title as well as your short description, um, but today we're gonna be focusing on the, the full description. Um, and so what we've done is we've just copied BBC's full description into a Word document and identified the keywords at the top that we want to target and then gone ahead and injected them into the, the copy of the page. So important when doing keyword optimization is to make sure that your description still reads naturally. You can't just throw keywords into random places such as right here. Uh, because number one, Google, when you submit an update, Google it does have reviewers that look at your app, your metadata, and make sure that it, it's a quality update. Uh, and sometimes they will reject your update for containing keywords in the metadata. If this happens, it's no cause for uh, large concern. You can just adjust your keyword mix and submit your app update again. And then you know it should be approved at that point. Um, but the other thing is that, you know, as mentioned before, parts of your app metadata that influence keyword optimization will also op influence your conversion rate optimization. So if you just throw a keyword in here and you, know, you don't have um, much consideration for how it reads when people are coming in and looking at your description, you can reduce your conversion rate um, and that's not good. Even if you throw it in you know, the bottom where not many people go to venture, you could still be at risk for having your metadata um, rejected. And this was a, a bad example of just throwing keywords in there. Um, but the main point is you want to make sure that your description still reads properly. And it's a good idea to read your description out loud before you submit something. Um, because if you're injecting keywords into random places, uh, you may miss uh, the way that the whole sentence or the paragraph sounds when when read in, in its um, completeness uh, by injecting just a keyword into one area for it. So we've gone ahead and identified a few places that these keywords uh, may be able to fit in. 
and we've highlighted in yellow the extra text that we added in order to uh, contain the keyword in a natural format. And here we've got top stories bringing you the latest breaking news headlines from our trusted global network. And this is actually the full keyword here from our trusted global network of world news journalists. And then we've got this extra bit here that we put in to get news digest in here. So you've got stories from topics you add will appear in your personalized newsfeed. It's your, new, your news digest that's personalized to your tastes. Here you can order stories by topic or time and use the manage topic screen to stay on top of the news of the day. Great. Then we've got national news app um, put in down here where it's saying more of the news you care about from the national news app you trust. So um, typically people will use the bottom half of the, the, the below the fold, if you will, in order to put keywords in, kind of throw and stuff keywords into the bottom where fewer people go down to read. But if these are relevant keywords, then there's no reason to, to prevent them from being used in the, the first uh, few lines, especially, or the first half of your description. Because when people are looking and they're searching news headlines, they want to uh, find an app that is relevant for that. And even if you've got news covered ever all over the place, it's still good to include keywords uh, such as national, uh, world news, uh, news digest, this word right here. So having allowing people to see the keyword that they're searching in the text or the screenshot captions or the short description can help your conversion rate for that particular keyword. But then there is a balance between the keywords that you only have so much room uh, and especially so much um, precious space, such as the first few lines, the captions, your short description and title, to use keywords. And so it's a balance between identifying the uh, right keywords to put in those areas. But this is pretty much it. You just go through and you identify a few places to put the keywords into your description. And then you take this and you um, push it back into your uh, store listing in the Google Play Console, and submit an update. And then that's step one, or step one rather is identifying the keywords, and that's uh, something that we haven't done today. We just had a few keywords that um, we had found before, but identifying the right keywords is, is an important process because you don't want to be putting keywords that have low search popular or so low search volume or low relevance or uh, any other uh, detriment or detrimental or non-advantageous um, characteristic to them into your description because it's really not going to do you much good. Um, but step one is going to be identifying which keywords that you want to rank for. Step two is going to be identifying places in your metadata to insert the keywords to help you rank. And then step three is going to be uh, iteration, uh, reporting, and then iter step four is iteration. So your keywords should pretty much update uh, as with Apple very quickly. Um, so you can even do a search after your new update has been accepted into the App Store or the Play Store and see if you're ranking any better than you were before. And this necess necessitates that you check your ranking before and then check your ranking after. Um, you can use an ASO tool. We use Mobile Action, uh, App Tweak, App Annie for its uh, free, free product. And that'll help you track. You want to insert to, to copy all the keywords that you're trying to rank for before you submit a no, new update into that app tool, ASO tool. And then you're going to want to check your ranking the several days afterwards. Additionally, um, you can look at the keyword distribution, which is a feature that Mobile Action has, as well as the tool. That's a new ASO tool. Um, that we've been testing and seems to be pretty cool. It helps you identify the organic lift of paid advertising as well, which is pretty handy. But keyword distribution shows you um, how many total keywords estimated <clears throat> your app is ranking for day over day over day over week or so. So just because we've only identified these four keywords right here that we want to rank for, um, doesn't mean that we're not going to start ranking for other keywords or improve our ranking for other keywords. Uh, news Digest, Headlines, we can start ranking for National News, um, National News 
have, you know, their world, world news, you could start to rank for other keywords that are within these keyword phrases or even other keywords um, that people, or other words that people tag on at the end of these. So just tracking the keywords themselves is good, but also identifying the total number of keywords that you're ranking for is also beneficial. And of course, looking at your uh, store views to see are we getting more store views as we add the keywords that we want to when we start to improve our rank looking at your category and country rankings um, those will also help you assess the success of your keyword optimization and of course you can one of our favorite things to do is to do an actual live search for some of these keywords so <clears throat> looking at world news we see that BBC is number three it's probably going to be pretty difficult to, to move ranks once you're up this high, um, especially with just a, an optimization in your description, but um, News Digest, perhaps, BBC News is ranking. Okay, so BBC News is down here, and um, it's when you're doing a live search, it's also good to see whether, what other apps are showing up for particular keywords that you want to rank for because the keyword may sound good in some cases, but it may not produce the best uh, results. It, it may not have the best relevance as demonstrated by the apps that rank for that keyword when you do a search. And this is something that we recommend doing in your keyword research for Android, for iOS, no matter uh, which platform you're optimizing for. Do an actual search to see what apps pop up uh, when you're doing your research and figuring out what you want to rank for. And of course, also look at the autofill to see if there are any other relevant keywords that you want to rank for. Um, in some cases, you may find that a keyword sounds good, but it may produce a lot of uh, games, in which case maybe the, the relevance is, is mixed. Um, this was just an example that popped into mind. Perhaps we might have seen a lot of uh, games because we got one here, um, a few down here, but uh, at any rate, again, what you're gonna want to do after you've pushed your your tactic to the Play Store is look at your rankings every time and then iterate. So for these keywords, are we seeing better rank over time? Uh, the, the day that we push the update or the day after, are we seeing worse rank? Are we seeing a, an improvement in rank and then a, a plateau, a steady? Uh, rank naturally for keywords that you are not able to attain a, a high or a good rank for you may want to swap those out for other keywords and for keywords that you are improving your rank for um, you know there are tactics that you can do to continue to improve that or to identify other keywords that are relevant for that particular keyword um, one very nerdy fact or very nerdy um, I guess concept about uh, the way that Google's algorithm works is that they they don't just look for the, the word itself and say, all right, national news is now in, again, Google's algorithm is very complex. And so they don't just look to see, all right, is national news in your um, description? As often Apple does, where it says, is, is the keyword contained within your title? Is it contained within your keyword space? Is it contained within your, uh, your in-app purchases, uh, your developer name? Google wrote a, uh, um, a blog post talking about how their Google Play, you know, it's funny that our, our post comes up here, um, but Google wrote a blog post talking about its algorithm, and if you like to get into the, the nerdy details, uh, just do search Google Skip Gram, uh, Skip Gram Analysis Google Play and read this blog post where they talk about how they're training their algorithm to identify relevant keywords. And again, it's not just the word itself, it's related words. So they're trying to understand, you know, skip, skip gram is uh, the concept that they're implementing into their um, algorithm now and moving forward. But they're trying to understand uh, what are the other words that are relevant for any particular keyword. So national news app. Okay, well, what else, what other words may people be searching that uh, carry similar intent to national news app? Um, and could 
you know, go through a, a thesaurus or go through just uh, some, some simple thought to identify those words. But the uh, point being that Google's algorithm doesn't just, uh, it, it's not just influenced by the presence of a particular word in your metadata, but one word may help you rank for other words. Um, and so that's a, a, a benefit, but also a, a challenge to really influencing Google's algorithm and that it's, it's complexity makes it difficult to understand and even know what keywords you're ranking for. Um, unless you pay a lot of money to an ASO tool or, or have uh, a lot of time, it's difficult to understand all the thousands upon thousands of keywords that your app could possibly rank for. Um, and so you focus on the ones that have the highest opportunity, the ones that uh, you know of and you know in your in your description. So that's that's the uh, the tactic for today. Oh, and just to wrap up, once you know whether you are ranking well or not or anything, then you can continue uh, adding keywords, changing out keywords, and adjusting your copy until your ranking is uh, is where you like it to be. But do consider that there are other factors that influence your rank for a particular keyword, uh, including the way that people respond to your app when they see it in the, the store. So if somebody searches news headlines and sees BBC's app and doesn't click it, doesn't install it, even though you may have put news headlines into, if, even though BBC may have put news headlines into its description five times, 10 times, 20 times, uh, it, it may not produce any more benefit and it may actually be to the detriment of BBC because Google's algorithm is seeing that people are not installing when they search that keyword. And so therefore BBC must not be relevant for that keyword. Um, and, and a whole host of other factors, uh, your competition as well. Maybe BBC uses the keyword twice, but the competition all uses the keyword three or four times, or uh, they include uh, skip gram and analysis. Uh, they, they include keywords that are relevant by skip gram analysis, but they don't, specifically include those keywords. And so uh, point here being that, again, just by putting keywords into your description, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to capture a top rank or improve your rank over time by putting more keywords into your description. There are other things that factor in and there are other things that you need to consider. But if this all, if all this stuff is over your head and it's too nerdy, uh, we're happy to uh, do a one-on-one -on -one session to try and break it down a little more and actually go through your app and give you an audit or uh, do some coaching or actually work with you to, to optimize your app and take this workload off of your shoulders. Um, just send an email to incipia, hello at incipia.co and we can set up some time to talk or to discuss a package. Uh, you can also go to incipia.co uh, slash contact and see what our, our plans for app, app store optimization are. We offer for iOS a uh, one time, a couple one time optimization. Actually, iOS is a um, one package, and then there's a package for iOS or Android or both. Um, and so the title and keywords optimization for iOS is 120, and, and we can actually put up a similar um, package for Android keyword optimization using the tactic that we described today, as well as maybe a couple other ones. And then we have an advanced package one time where we'll give you a whole host of um, optimization suggestions and including a title and keywords optimization and other optimizations and, and things like that. And then we've got a managed uh, package where, or rather managed service where we work with you to uh, take on your app over a multi-month or longer stretch for optimization. So that's it for today. Uh, follow along our blog and subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to our email list and get updates when we push out videos like this or posts that we put on here, or do guest posts or things like that. Uh, our weekly digest also includes posts from around the web. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. We'll put another video out soon here and see you soon.